Hello. Now, today's video is me reminding you that patience is important. It's one of the most important ingredients you can have to parent effectively in parenting today's child. Now, this is me telling you that whenever something happens, whether your child misbehaves or you want to respond to your child questions or anything, you need to let a bit of time pass between the time something happens and the time you are responding. And you know why? So that you can calm down, gather your thoughts, and you are responding appropriately because you have a vision i know every parent has a vision so for your vision for your reactions your responses to be able to align with your vision you have to think it through so now this is why i always say that misbehaviors are never an emergency yes my name is Amy Rebu. i work with young school children teaching manners etiquette sexuality education building healthy characters and i also coach and mentor parents plus I'm an author of books for parents and children. I work with very many schools and have seen parents succumb to the urgency, to the urge to correct and discipline the child on the spot. The last one that got to me was a parent who was in school to pick her child. So she waited for about two, three minutes and that actually got her vest because she had previously warned her child that on her account, should she, the parent, be the one waiting for the girl? It, rather, it should be the girl waiting for her. So she expects when the school bell rings, grab your bags, come downstairs and let me meet you with you. That didn't happen. And that was how she slapped the girl on her face. Now, there could have been a million and one reasons why the girl delayed. What it could have happened that she had no control over. It could have been that she had notes to fix. Maybe she she had a long note on the on the board. You know how schools do. They may have computer science. They go to the computer lab and they, they have another um, subject. The teacher copies it on the board. And she did not want to borrow a classmate's note. It could be that, okay, she wanted to complete her note. That could have been a reason. It could also mean that she maybe she was being bullied. One of her naughty classmates kind of stood on the way and didn't allow her to pass. How, how, that wasn't her fault. It wasn't intentional. She had no control over that. It could even be that, okay, she just sent her on an errand and she came back. Her mom was waiting. It could be that she got downstairs and she forgot something. She ran up back to get it. It could have been a million and one reasons. Also, it could have been that she was also playing. I go to school and I see parents come to pick their children. They are yelling, they are smacking, they are dragging, they are complaining at the spot and i'm like you know this discipline this correction can actually wait till you get home reconnect with your child again you need to be able to let a bit of time pass between the time your child misbehaves and the time you are fixing it if genuinely you want to modify a behavior my name is Elimio Rebo, and if you've got value to where to share thank you for watching see you tomorrow Bye bye